beautiful trade, right? It almost hit TP, then it flew back up, and then went right back down. See, I'm going to show you all something. When stuff like this happens, a lot of times traders, they're going to freak out. They're always going to freak out when they see something like this happening. The reason why traders tend to freak out a lot is because like, oh, it just missed my TP. And what if it goes up and stops me out or I lose money, right? That's why an exit plan is very important because you don't want to have that fear of missing out. You don't want to have that, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to win this trade or I don't know what's about to happen. You never want to have that mentality. You always want to have a proper exit plan when you're trading. You know, you have areas where you move your stop loss to break even. You have times where you take partials. You want to have a whole plan in place because it's just as simple as this. A fool with a plan will beat a genius without a plan. It's just that simple. I know you all heard that quote so many times, but that it really applies to everything. It's all about taking the basics. And I made a video on this yesterday, I believe. It's all about taking the basics, the basic fundamentals and just everything about it and just scaling. And that's what I constantly do. I just get better and better and better. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much experience you may have in the market, you're always going to be a what? Learner. You're always going to be a student. You're always going to learn more things about yourself while trading. I learned a lot about myself while trading. I learned a lot. But most definitely, one thing I did learn was something like this would happen multiple times in the past. Like my past years when I was like first started trading, it would get real close to TP. And I was like, oh, no, oh, no, I don't know if it's going to hit. I'll just close the whole entire thing, right? That right there is totally unacceptable it's just undisciplined you have to let your trade hit tp you have to always trust your analysis we see price got near my tp and then what happened shot all the way back up what is the average retail trader the average you know newbie trader gonna do oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm about to lose the trade it get all the way up here then they close it this was me <laughs> i would get all the way up here I would close the trade and watch it go all the way back down. Hit my TP, TP smacked and everything. And then I'm just sitting there like, wow. Right? And that's what happens a lot of times when you're like a newbie trader. You're trying to figure out that discipline. You're trying to really get that emotional control because that's what it's really all about. It's all about having that emotional control when you're trading. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because when you don't have emotional control when you're trading, you're liable to do anything. What are some things that you're liable to do? Revenge trading. You're liable to so many things. And one thing I always used to do in the past was, I'm not going to lie to you, revenge trading. That right there hurts a lot of traders. They feel entitled to the market. You never want to feel entitled to the market. Never want to. The market does not owe you anything. Although it may bring you great pain, it may bring you a lot of pain, a lot of emotional pain, financial pain, but you always have to realize it does not care. And it's always going to do what it wants to do. It's always going to do what it wants to do. It's never going to stop for anybody. It's going to keep moving forward. Just like you, when you're training, you have to keep moving forward. There's no reason why you should be in a trade and you realize, oh, you just like you're about to hit TP and then you see it fly back up and then you're like, oh my goodness, what's about to happen? If it doesn't hit your TP, that's fine. Because why if you have an exit plan, you have times where you move your stop loss to break even, then you're totally fine. It does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. Why? Because you're securing partials, you're securing profits, you're minimizing your losses to maximize your gains. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's so simple with trading. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's just a lot of times people do things because they think it may be just too good to be true. I used to think you have to, 
you had to have the like the master analysis, like you had to have the power of Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. I used to think you have to had to do so many things, so many certifications to trade. I used to think about it all. And in reality, <laughs> you absolutely do not. You do not at all. And it's just crazy on how traders every single day disqualify themselves, have self-doubt, think they can't do it, think they're not good enough. You're great. You're always going to be great. Anytime you're using the correct risk, you're using the correct position, you're following your rules, you're going to be good. I'm telling you, it's not so much of the analysis at all. Yes, it's great to understand the nature of the market and the anatomy of what's going on. That's very important. But what's even more important, what's going to take you to the next level is understanding money management, understanding your psychology, understanding just discipline and just the little things, because the little things are really going to translate into a lot of things that you're doing in the market. It is all about looking at the little things. You don't fix the little things right now. Then don't expect to see great results. It's just that simple. When you're in the market, you have to learn how to control what you can control consistently at all times. You can't hop in the market, or right, I'm going to risk this, and then risk a, let's say, like 50% of your account on one trade, and then go and risk 2% on the next one because you realize you lost that one, and then next thing you know, your, your account balance is off. You have to realize your account also has its own psychology as well. You have to stay consistent with whatever you're doing. It's always the little things that really affect traders constantly. And myself, when I first started trading, the little things really used to bite me so much, so much. I would have a great analysis, a great, you know, great confluences. And it was just my discipline. It would just be something small that would just allow me to lose the trade. Or I wouldn't, sometimes I would just not take the trade because I would think it's too good to be true. You cannot have that mentality. You have to take the trade, use the correct risk, and just let the market do its thing. I let the market do its thing. And then what happened? I get 20 plus R in one trade. People like, ask me, oh, how did you catch that? I just, I see what I want and I execute. And another thing, when you're in the market, you have to be very picky. Extremely picky when you're in the market. Extremely picky. You can't just be looking at just anything, right? And just like, okay, I'm going to take this, take that. Now, you can do that technically with using a correct risk and everything. By all means, you can do that. But what it's all about is always what? Take a guess, Sony. Say that again. I... Hold on. I was yeah, saying, like, what's yeah. the word? Yeah, run that again, bro. I didn't. I didn't get the last part. It's fine. It's fine. Basically, what I'm saying is, it's always very important that you understand the little things that you're executing constantly, consistently, and you're always persistent in the market. There's going to be days where you're going to be like, "Oh, why did this happen?" Those days, sometimes I was second guessing about, like, "Man, do I want to continue?" That's when. The devil's really got you by the, <laughs> the neck or something, by the arm. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to direct them back into another direction to something that he doesn't want to do or something that's just not beneficial at all, right? Because the trading journey, it's tough. It's not for the weak. It's not for just anybody. It's really not. I'm not going to lie. Anybody can do it. Don't get me wrong. Anybody can trade. But not a lot of people are going to prosper off of trading and be consistent because why? They have weak discipline. A lot of people in this world have weak discipline, weak psychology, and that's okay. Because I did myself, but I was determined enough to go, you know what? I'm going to fix these little issues so I can get great results. And as I fixed my little issues that I had, right, trusting my analysis, using, you know, correct risk every single time, every single trade, also, another little thing as well, always make sure when you're taking trades, especially when you're in the one minute, because the one minute is very fast. It's very fast when you're in the one minute. 
that you're always adjusting your entry and your stop loss to your broker. Always, always adjust your stop loss, the TP entry to your broker. That's one little thing that traders still fall for to this day. It's even some of the experienced ones. So this one, yeah, this one was a limit order or this was an uh, instant execution? This was a limit order. Okay. Yeah, this was a limit order right here. I placed the limit. And basically what I do is I place my limit. And then, of course, on top of that, I also have other entries as well. I go to designated areas, like, aligning up to my exit plan. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's so very walk, walk, me, walk me from the higher time frame, come down to the lower one and tell me why, like, you take it or what you saw for you to go down to the one minute for you to set your limit there. So what I was originally looking at, if we take a look right here, right? I'm going to do this right here. Let me go right here to go to the four hours. We take a look. We take a look at Nas in general. Nas has been very bearish recently. Okay. It was recently near 17,000. Near 17,000, right? I was like, okay. I realized that it's bearish. And I like to trade in the one minute. I like to trade in the one minute, the five minute, those smaller time frames. And so since I, I like to do that, you know, I'm executing if I see something that I want. Okay. Saw something that I wanted, then I just taken it. Just took it. Took the trade, then there we go. That's all, that's what it's all about. Following your rules. Whatever your rules are, you have to stick with it. And also, too, going back to being picky and everything, I treat trading like houses, right? You're about to buy a house for yourself and your family and everything. You're not going to buy a house, you know, that's ran down or just looks terrible or just beat up or anything like that, right? You can't do that. You can't just do that. You can't be doing things in desperation. When you're trading, you cannot be a desperate trader. That's also what's going to kill you as well in the market. If you're a desperate trader, that's really going to hurt you so much. You can never be desperate. You always have to have an abundant mindset when you're trading at all times. Right? So as you're looking for a house for your family, you're going to look for the best house at the best price. And what are you going to do? Execute have a whole entire plan for you to get that house. And let's say you can't get the house, then it's okay. We're going to find another one. It's just that simple. It's so simple with trading. It's so simple. A lot of people just overcomplicate that. And like I said, it's okay. It's not for the weak. It's not just for anybody. You have to be mentally tough mentally strong, you to be persistent. Because there's going to be days where you're going to be second-guessing yourself. That's one thing you should never do as well, second-guess yourself and be like, you know what? Oh, I can't stand trading anymore. I'm just quit. Don't be like that. If someone tells me they about to quit trading, man, I'm going to give them the longest lecture of their life. Trading, for me, is just life-changing. I'm telling a 100,000%. It is life changing. This is not a get rich quick scheme or anything or anything like that at all. It's really not. But I'm so glad of everything I learned throughout my journey. Although it was very painful, my, my journey, my trading journey was very painful at first, very painful. But now, of course, as I'm flourishing in the market. It's really, you know, it's just a, it's a Second nature looking at the market now, it's just really easy. But before, oh man, I used to have challenges, you know, okay, being desperate sometimes or not wanting to take a trade. It was just so bad. My psychology was so off. And that's one thing, if traders fix that, their trading entirely is going to be changed. And then the money management is going to be changed. Oh, it's going to change everything. Once you fix those two, you're going to be unstoppable. I promise you, you will be unstoppable in the market. It's so simple when you're trading. So simple, so easy. You have an exit plan. 
and you just let the market do its thing, you're good to go. It's so simple, so easy. It's very simple and it's very easy. But does anybody have...